Welcome, welcome, beloved in the Lord. Welcome to our Thursday session. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I would like to welcome you to this evening session. My name is Deacon Esteli. I'm your hub, humble servant for this evening. I'd like to welcome you to this evening session. If it's possible, if you are able, if you could share, if you can help me share, if you can please help me share, let's spread the word this evening. Let's share so that we can all be connected, so we can all hear what the Lord has prepared for us this evening. Hallelujah. As we are waiting, as we are sharing, I would like to just take a moment and pray and pray and give God the glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Welcome, my beloved in the Lord. Welcome, my brothers and sisters. As I've said, I am Deaconess Delhi from the Church Kingdom of God Assembly. I have been given this opportunity to come and share what the Lord has placed in our hearts today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I like to thank you at this moment for this opportunity. Father, I thank you for what you have placed inside of our hearts, my God. I thank you for what you are doing within the kingdom, Jehovah. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your abundant mercy that you are pouring upon us, oh God. We are grateful for your love. We are grateful for your mercy, oh God. I want to thank you for this opportunity again to come in front of your children, Father. Who am my Father, that you have decided to use this vessel for today you have decided to use me oh god to carry your precious word oh god let your name be glorified let your name be exalted may i go down and you rise up may you speak through me oh god let all that will come out of me my god come from you and you alone oh god i give you glory i magnify your name i exalt you in the name of jesus we have prayed amen 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 I would like to take the opportunity before we dive in into our word and saying thank you to my father and saying thank you to my mentor and saying thank you to my boss. <laughs> I have a boss that I serve at my church as the deaconess. I have the pastor that is above me. I'd like to say thank you, Pastor Dudu. Thank you, Papa Dudu, for giving me this occasion, this opportunity, for seeing in me that the ability and the capability is there. Hallelujah. That I also can be used as a vessel that I can be used as an instrument to carry the word of God may the Lord bless you where you are Papa may the Lord bless you hallelujah I like to greet kingdom of God assembly I want to greet uh, the body of Christ all those that this message will come to all those that will be touched that will, what the Lord will use to speak to through this vessel may you be truly blessed as you are sharing as you are following we would like to dive in. We would like to go straight to today's word. Hallelujah. The, uh, the Lord has prepared some wonderful things for us for today. And the Lord is taking us somewhere today. Mm. The Lord wants us to know that he loves us. Yes. Jesus loves us. Yes. He loves us to the point where he gave his own begotten son. That Jesus loved us to the point where he gave his own life so that we can have life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why we glorify him. This is why we exalt him. He is king. He alone is the Lord. There is no other God but him. There is no other God but him. We magnify his name. We exalt him. Yes, at all times. Hallelujah. 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 Once again, welcome my beloved. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's message is titled, The Kind of Faith that breaks barriers the kind of faith that breaks barriers we have 
got we are getting this message from the book of Mark chapter 2 verse 1 to 5 if we can go straight to the book if we can read Mark chapter 2 verse 1 and we'll carry on reading where the spirit will touch us and again he entered Caponium after some days and it was heard that he was in the house it was heard so the people heard that Jesus had reached the house that Jesus had entered into the house and immediately verse 2 immediately many gathered together immediately the Bible says immediately straight away people gathered together they gathered to the house they gathered to the house they gathered together to the house they came to the house they heard that jesus was in the house and they came they heard that jesus was passing and they left what they were doing and came to meet jesus hallelujah have you heard where jesus is passing today have you heard that jesus is passing today hallelujah hallelujah Immediately, the Bible says, Mark chapter 2, verse 2, immediately many gathered so that there was no room, so there was no more room. Immediately they gathered together and there was no room left. There was no room available for people to stand. There was no room It brings me to the birth when, when Jesus was about to be born. There was no room at the inn. He was told, his parents were told that there was no space for Jesus. There was no space for them. There was no room at the inn. But himself, the one that gives room, the one that makes space, the one that makes no way where there was no way, they found a space for him. The Bible says he was born in a manger. Hmm. They found a space for him, for the king of kings to be born. The Bible continues, the second part of verse 2, it says not even near the door so there was no room not even near the door there was no room not even by the window there was no room there was no space it was crowded it was packed it was full but hmm, hallelujah hallelujah he makes the way where there is no way he makes the room where there is no room my god so the people gathered together because they heard jesus was coming the people gathered together they came immediately they filled up the place they filled up the space to the point where there was no room there was no room anywhere left for anybody else to come and stand hey there is no room it makes me think of what we go through in life sometimes we go through situations you are living in a space where it's cramped there's no space there's no space for you to breathe there's no space for you to room to move I imagine I can place myself in that room where there's no room where there's no room my god it's a journey that we go through. This life in Christ is a journey that we go through. And there are barriers that we have to overcome. There are barriers that we have to break. <laughs> hmm. And we serve a living God that gives us the strength. And we serve a living God that gives us the strength to break those barriers. To break those barriers. I, your servant that sits in front of you, I also have overcome barriers. 
where I was in a situation where there was no room. You go this side, they say no. You go that side, they say no. You fill in form after forms after forms. But the day I decided enough was enough, I said, my God, my God, my God, enough is enough. You say we will live in the houses that we have not built. Mm -hmm. And he has made it possible. He has enlarged my tent. He has enlarged my tent. And I have space for my things. Hallelujah. The place was filled. The Bible said it was filled. It was crowded. It was full of people. Not even space by the door. But they all came to hear Jesus preach. They all came to see Jesus. He preached the word to them. And verse 3 says, Verse 3, Then they came to him. Then they came to him. Bringing a paralyzed man who was carried on a bed by four men bringing with them a paralyzed man that was carried on the bed by four men they came by four men a paralyzed man was carried he wasn't able to walk the bible said they carried him in as jesus was preaching as jesus was preaching They carried him in. They carried him in. These four men carried their friend in. Because of the crowd, the Bible says, verse 4. Verse 4. Mark chapter 2, we are on verse 4. And when they could not come near him, and when they could not come to Jesus, and when they could not enter through the door to get to Jesus, and when they could not go in through the window to get to Jesus, and when they could not come near Jesus, hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. And the, the Bible says, because, because of the crowd. Why? Because of an obstacle. Why? Because there was a barrier. They, the Bible continues in saying, they uncovered the roof. They broke the roof. They made a way. They uncovered the roof where he was. Because uh, they, they, carried, they carried this man. Uh, the Bible does not tell us. The Bible does not tell us that how far they were coming from. The Bible doesn't tell us whereabouts, how long they had been carrying this man. It just says to us that they carried a man on a bed to get to Jesus. They carry this man on, 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 on what, what is known as a camping mat. You know the camping, when you go camping and you have those flat beds, yeah? Those flat beds is just, it's very light for you to sleep on. So they use this to carry him. This was his bed. But when they could not, the Bible said in verse 4, when they could not come near him when they could not get to Jesus because of the barrier of the crowd because of the barrier the door was blocked because of the barrier there was no entrance available for them the Bible said they broke the roof they they destroyed they made an opening they made a way where there was no way my God they found the solution. They found the solution. 
They uncovered the roof where Jesus was. They wanted to be where Jesus was. They uncovered the roof. What kind of crazy faith is this? What, what kind of, of belief is this? To the point where they were willing to break someone else's house for their friend to be healed. The faith. The kind of faith that breaks barriers. The kind of faith that makes a way where there was no way. These four friends, these four men had crazy faith. Yes, you can call them crazy. You can call them fools. They had crazy faith. They wanted, they had the same ambition. They had the same goal as their friend who was paralyzed. And their goal was to get him healed. They said, if we can get him in the same space as Jesus, if we can get him in the same building, in the same area as Jesus, our friend will be made whole. Our friend will be healed. It reminds me of the woman with the issue of blood. She said to herself, if only I, if only I can touch the garment, I will be made whole. These friends, I, do, I don't know what their discussion was on their route. I'm just imagining, I'm ju just imagining that as they were walking, maybe one of them said, ah, our friend is too heavy, I'm tired, we've been walking for a long while, let us just go back. The place is even full. There's no, there's no way for us to even go in. Let's us just go back. Let's take him back and come back. And come back tomorrow. And come back another time when Jesus is around. But because there was four of them. Yes. Because there was four of them. Another one said, no, 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 no. We have a goal. We have a reason why we left the house. We have a reason why we've been carrying this burden. We must carry the burden and drop it to the one that said, bring me your burdens. Ah, yeah, da, 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 da. Take it all to Jesus. They said, ah, we can't leave this burden here. We've already carried it this far. Let us just take it. This is just me imagining. The Bible does not say what the discussion was on Ruth. The Bible doesn't give us their conversation. But we, we can at least imagine. We can at least imagine of their roots carrying can you just imagine carrying this big this this man the bible doesn't give us his weight but if he needed four people to carry him comfortably my brothers my sisters you can just imagine that this man had some weight on him this man was was of a, a healthy weight we could say we can imagine And that his illness was the fact that he was paralyzed. And if someone is paralyzed, they could, um, uh, it's like someone that has dead weight because they can't support their weight. So they are even heavier because themselves is not carrying that weight. You are carrying the weight and these four friends together, together as a union, as one, they persevered. They persevered. They continued on their journey. They continued to their journey. As I read and meditated on, 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 this, on these verses, on this chapter, on this portion of the Bible, I asked myself, that house, the Bible does not say whose house it was. I tried to research and look and saw that some people said it was Peter's house because um, before Jesus healed a leper, he was in, in Peter's house. That's why they assume, some, some theologicals assume that it was Peter's house. But the Bible does not tell us. But it was not these four people's house. It was not the paralyzed man's house. It was somebody else's house. So I was asking myself, how can you have the courage 
the audacity to go and break someone else's house to remove their roof what was what, providing shelter for them was covering them from the rain but you have decided because what you are looking for is so in need is so strong that you are willing to get yourself in trouble what kind of friends are these my brothers and sister we must look at our surrounding and see who is our friend who is who who is our entourage what kind of friends do we have? Are they willing to go to this extent? Are they willing to, 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 oh my days, to pay the price of whatever the owner of the house was going to charge them? Are your friends willing to carry your burden with you? Are my friends willing to carry my burdens with me? If you are my friend and you're not willing to help me, remove yourself. By yourself, just go. I will not tell you to go. By yourself, you shall go. We have to have good friends, good company. Those that are willing to support us in our time of need. It's not we are not just friends for happiness. Uh -uh. Just like the Bible says, pray at all time, pray without ceasing. Uh, and, and the Bible also says, praise God and in all times. Be faithful at all times. It's not just when you're happy, happy is when you pray. No, all the time. It's not that when, when I'm, when I'm well, when I'm good, when everything is good that you'll be my friend. No, 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 no. At no matter what, surround ourselves with those that will, that will stick their neck out for you. Surround yourself, your friendship groups, those that, that are willing, that, that are there to care for you. If you are ever in need. Because this life, there are stages, it's a journey. It's a journey that we are on. And there are many things on the journey that can happen. Some things come for us to grow. Some things are put in a way for us to battle and fight and break those barriers. But we need the type of faith of these friends. We need, the, the Bible says, if you have faith as a grain, as a small seed of mustard, the mustard seed is small. It's like the point of my pen is tiny. But if your faith is that small, you can move mountains. And the friends, these four friends, they had the faith that broke the roof. The faith that broke the barriers. This kind of faith, oh my day. What kind of faith is this? crazy faith the faith that we cannot explain most people will look at it and say this is madness how can you turn up to someone's building and, and break their roof but their objective their reason was stronger was more in need than that roof hallelujah they broke the roof. They carried their friend. And, and, and the Bible, if we go to, to, to verse 5, verse 5, sorry. Mark chapter 2, verse 5. The Bible says, When Jesus saw their faith, oh my days, may Jesus see your faith today, hallelujah, may Jesus see your faith today, it doesn't matter how small that faith is, it doesn't matter how, 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 oh my, how small, but as long as Jesus sees it, it's not for the people of the world to see, but as long as Jesus, the Bible says, when Jesus saw their faith, so it wasn't even the, the paralyzed man. Jesus didn't see the paralyzed man. Jesus saw the faith of his friend. The fact that they were willing to, to, to break someone else's roof and place their friend down. And they had the belief that they, as long as their friend goes down where Jesus is, he will be healed. Verse 5. When Jesus saw their faith, 
He said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. From seeing what his friend has done, from seeing hey, Adaba, what those that around him did for him, allowed him to receive his blessing. The Bible said, Jesus said, Son, your, your, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Because his friends had crazy faith. Because his friends, his friend had the type of faith that will break barriers. That broke the barriers. They had the faith that breaks barriers. Have a look at your list of friends. Have a look at those around you. Eh, 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 eh. Does their faith coincide with your faith? Will their faith break barriers? Will their faith shout in, in your time of need? Will they pray for you? Will they come and weep with you? Will they come? And stay with you in your time of need. In the time of need is when we need friends. It's when we see the true friends. Hallelujah. It's when we see those that are around us in our time of need. When everything good, when everything is happy, different type of people will come. But in your time of need. Surround let us surround ourselves with friends that will stick their head out, their neck out. That will that, that, that be willing to suffer together with you. That will go the extra mile for you. That will uh, carry you. That will lift you up when you are down. Friends that will see that you are in need of a prayer or two. And they will be there for you. Hallelujah. These friends, they, 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 they were willing to be charged. They were willing to be told off. They were willing to receive whatever will come. Let it come. As they say in Ingala, what will come will come. Because our, our reason for coming here is higher, is greater than the roof that is material. Hallelujah. This paralyzed man was surrounded by good friends, by good people. He was surrounded by those that loved and cared for him. His entourage was good. Mm. Hallelujah. These friends represent to me. I see them like perseverance. One of the friends I called perseverance. Because if they persevered, even though the obstacle, the first obstacle was the, 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 the paralyzed man on the bed to carry him. The second obstacle was the crowd of people they met at the place, at the house. The fourth obstacle was there was no way of going in. There was no entrance. The entrance was blocked. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So they had to climb up. They had to climb up. They had to climb up to the roof and break the roof to receive their healing, to receive their miracle, to receive what they believe deep down inside. They persevered. The other friend, the second friend, <laughs> My brothers and sisters, I called him ambition. They had the same ambition. They had the same goal. They had the same objective. They, had, they were going on the same route. They all agreed on one thing. They had one ambition. In life, we have to be ambitious. And we have to be surrounded by those that will support our ambition. That will help us 
reach our goal, reach our destination. The third friend I called faith. Because it's what Jesus saw. Their faith in action is what Jesus saw. They had such a faith. Such a crazy faith. An unexplainable faith. The faith that breaks barriers. The kind of faith that makes a way where there was no way. And the fourth friend I could love. They had such love for their friend that they were willing hmm, to carry this burden with him. They had such, so much love for him that they, they were not looking at the fact that uh, they carry this burden. Uh, they have to go a long way. They didn't even see that uh, maybe uh, they're not able to get in. There's a block. They, they, there was no entrance. No. The love they had for their friend. Gel them together, kept them together. Let's surround ourselves with people that truly love us. Let's surround ourselves with those that will be willing to help us in our time of need. When we are in need, they are there. And these four friends, these four friends, sorry, were able to see the miracle. They have heard. They came because they heard Jesus was in the area. They came because other people have told them this is what Jesus does. But now they come to see. They've come to see with their own eyes. And because of their faith. Because of that crazy faith. Because of that crazy that, 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 that breaks barriers. They were able to see their miracle. And the miracle was not just for the paralyzed man. No, 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 no. The miracle was for the five of them. Because if they've been friends with this paralyzed man, they know his situation. They know how long he's been suffering. They also must have suffered together with him. They said, no, enough is enough. They said, no, enough is enough. It's time for a change. Let us go to the one that gives solution. If he healed the man by the pool, if he healed uh, 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 the, 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 and cl if Jesus cleansed the leper, the one with, that was leprous, let us go. It is our turn. It is your turn, our friend. We will carry you, come rain or shine, by force. We will carry you to the place. We will take you there. Because we are your friends. Because we love you. Because we want you to succeed. Surround ourselves. With people that will push us forward. Hallelujah. People that, that will support us. The faith that broke the barriers. That faith that, that let us uh, be filled with that faith that, that does not see, that, that can see over the barrier. That can break the barrier, cut through and go to the other side. Because when these friends arrived, the crowd they saw did not stop them. Did not stop them. The fact that there was no entrance did not stop them. They even made a way. They made their own entrance. They used their own entrance. They were good friends. They were good friends. Even if the paralyzed man himself was telling them, oh, there's no way to come in, let's just go back. <laughs> The friend says, no, 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 no. We'll get to him. We'll get to him. You just sit back. You just relax. We are carrying you. I can imagine uh, one of them saying no. I can imagine the other say we're going to climb. I can imagine, oh, the roof is there. There's an entrance. I can see an entrance. I can imagine that the faith that they had together, the, 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 the gel, the togetherness they had together, the belief they had in Christ together, kept them united together to reach their end goal. Hallelujah. 
Let us not be those that are only focusing on how many friends they have on their social media, how many friends they have on their Facebook, how many friends, how many followers they have on TikTok. No. Let us, let us not focus on the quantity of friends, but the quality of friends we have. The quality of friends in your circle. The quality of friends in, in your surrounding, in your area. The quality of friends, those that are next to you. It's, a, it's about the quality. It's about the quality and not the quantity. It's about the quality and not the quantity. Hallelujah. Glory, the quality of friends you have will determine your success. Did you know that? I, the quality of friends you have will determine your success. If you are surrounded by those that have no ambition, who's going to encourage you to go? Who's going to push you? Who's going to support you? Sometimes it needs you to actually physically help your friend carry, especially if they do a business. Maybe help them lift a few things. Support them in all manner of ways. Surround ourselves. Let us build. Let us maintain. Let us take care of our relationships. Of our, take care of our relationships. Because nowadays... The world is truly coming to an end. Jesus is truly on his way. He's coming. Let us prepare ourselves because you, are, you, you will hear. I've heard of those that have died in the house and they started to rot. And I can think they had no one. No one to check in on them. No one to, to look out for them. No one to care for them. But if we are maintaining our relationships, I do not believe that you can spend a whole week without speaking to your friend. I do not believe that you allow your friend to go on for days and days without checking in on them. Let us maintain, let us build, let us take care of those that God has put around us. Those that, are, are, that, that love us in the same manner. And those that are don't. May God remove them. May God himself remove them. All calmly and peacefully. Because the Bible does say, if two people do not agree to walk together, let them go their separate ways. If you, you do not agree in going the same way, let each one go on their own ways. Hallelujah. These people had no one to help them and they've died in the house by themselves. What a sad thing to think of, to think about. I, I, it reminds me also of the, so, the story of, of the paralyzed man by the pool. Uh, the, the pool of Bethesda. The one that said when Jesus asked him in John chapter 5, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Instead of him saying, I want to be healed, I want to be made whole, he started to give a, 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 an essay, a discussion, an explanation. I think in Lingala is the school, no? He started to give an explanation that he has nobody, that he's alone. Let us not be like this. Paralyzed man, yes, by the pool. By the pool. He had nobody. He, he couldn't remember of anybody that he could have said. He had nobody. He was alone. But this other parallel man we have read in, in Mark chapter 2 says he had four friends. And we can see by the way they carried him, by the way they looked out for him, they were good friends. He had good friends. He had good friends. He had good friends. Friends that would look out for him.
Jesus saw in those four friends the perseverance. Jesus saw the ambition. Jesus saw the love they had and said, Jesus saw their faith and he said to the paralyzed, to the one that needed the healing, your sins are forgiven. They did not give up, they continued. I encourage you today to push on, push on, don't give up. Whatever it is God has placed in your heart to do, don't give up. Push on. Yes, persevere. Yes, it's hard. Life is hard. Yes. But push on. Do not stop. Do not give up. Whatever is persuading you to stop has not come from God. Because God has made us. He created us. He had good plans for us, good projects for us to succeed. He has not called us to come to earth to fail, no. He has not put us here to fail, no. Hallelujah. Let us push on. Don't get tired. I know you've been going with that situation for a long time, but don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Persevere. Do not give up. Do not stop. Jesus has given you the power to overcome. Jesus has given you the ability to, to overcome those barriers, to break those barriers. Whatever barriers is standing in front of you, you have the power to break them. You have the power. You have the faith inside of you even if your faith you think is small as tiny as it is that tiny faith can move mountain do not doubt your faith do not doubt your faith stand up stand up stand up go up against all those that are fighting against you whatever you see is not normal you have the power to say no enough is enough it is time to stop The Bible says, oh, whatever has not been planted by our Father must be uprooted. Yes, break those barriers, uproot those seeds, remove those barriers from your way. Hallelujah. Remove those barriers in the name of Jesus. Remove those barriers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever is coming up against you. You have the power to remove it. You have the power to fight up against it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. These friends have taught us how to persevere, how to be ambitious, how to love, and how to show faith. They had an acting faith a faith that broke the barrier. A kind of faith that broke the barrier. We see also in the Bible Esther, who was surrounded by good people. She was surrounded by, by, by Mordecai, who was there giving her good advice. Even from the beginning, before she came queen, she was, uh, when, they, when they were just going, when they were just preparing them, she had a good, a good eunuch who was training her, was giving her advice, was telling her what to do, surrounded by good people. Surround ourselves with good people. Let us surround ourselves with good people. Esther had the type of faith that broke the barrier. The barrier that, that said that no one can enter into the inner court if you are not called by the king. Esther had the type of faith that broke that barrier. She fasted, she prayed together with her people. She was together with her people. And the barrier was broken. She was given access. She was told to come in. She was given the, 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 the audience. She was allowed to come in. 
we see David that had the type of crazy faith that broke crazy barriers. My God. David, his brothers alone were a barrier for him. When he came to the field, when he came to the battlefield, his brother was telling him, what are you doing here? I know your pride. I know you're just here to watch. Why are you here? Why are you not tending to the sheep? That was barrier number one. Barrier number two was the king. When he decided, when he accepted to fight Goliath, the king told him the, the history of Goliath. That he's a warrior from a long time. You're just a small boy. And then you have Saul's armor that they placed upon David that, that was stopping him from fighting. He was not able to fight with Saul's armor. It's another barrier. That had to be removed. That had to be broken. And the last barrier. Was Goliath. And they took a stone. From David's sling. To end Goliath. To break that big gigantic barrier. That was in front of him. So my brothers and sisters. Whatever barriers before you, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are able to break those barriers. You are able to destroy, to remove those barriers. No barriers is, is permitted to stand before you. You are a child of God. You are a child of the King. You are a prince. You are a princess of the Most High God. No barriers can stand before you. What is your barrier? What is your barrier? What is that thing? Is it marriage? Are you looking to have children? Break those barriers. Are you looking for your tent to be enlarged? <laughs> that barrier can be broken. In Christ, that barrier can be broken. If you have faith... That barrier can be broken. There's nothing that can stand before our God. There is nothing that can stop our God. He's just waiting for you to act upon your faith. Oh my God. To act. These four friends acted upon their faith. They showed their faith. Faith is not to be hidden. No way. Take a step. Take a leap, as they say. Do not hide your faith under the table. Do not hide it inside of you. Act upon it. What is God asking you to do? My God. Hmm. We see from these four friends, they acted. They, their faith was in action. Their faith was in action. They showed that they believed that if only they can get their friend to Jesus, their friend will be made whole. Their friend will be healed. No matter how heavy that friend was, no matter where they were carrying him from, no matter the obstacle that was in front of them, they say, come rain or shine, you will be in the same space as Jesus. Come rain or shine, you will receive your miracle today. What if they had gone back? Many, many, many times we go back. We start acting on our faith, but we step back. Because maybe we've seen the crowd. Because maybe we've seen the door is closed. What is your barrier? What is your barrier? I tell you today, in the name of Jesus, you are able to break that barrier. You are able... To destroy, you are able to remove, you are able to break those barriers. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, my God. Glory, my God. Glory, my God. Glory, my God. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything stop you. Break those barriers ahead. Stand up. Enough is enough. You've been in the same situation for how long now? Eh? You've been in the same state for how long? Enough is enough. Stand up. Fight for yourself. No one else is going to come and fight for you. Stand up. Surround yourself with those that will go to battle with you. If you only have friends that you gossip with, change those friends. Try, try, try. This time round, I am giving you a challenge. Change those friends that are around you. Replace them with friends that you can pray with. Replace them with friends that you can share the word with. You will testify that God has done it. If you are always feeding yourself with negativity, you're never going to do anything else. You're only going to have negative thoughts. Change the way you think. Change your surrounding. Change. Think positively. Think positively. Act upon your faith. Don't hide your faith. Act upon your faith. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're going to just take a few minutes and pray in regards of what we have heard. In regards of what God has come to fill in our hearts. Let's pray that God gives us the perseverance to be able to act upon our faith in the name of Jesus so that Jesus can see our faith so that Jesus can see our faith let us manifest our faith we're going to pray also that God will open our eyes so we can see the way these friends saw that there was another way in and not just by the door, not through the window, but through the roof. May God open your eyes for you to see the entrance that he has prepared for you. We're going to see, we're going to pray for God to surround us, to send good people around us. If you by yourself, you are not able to find friends, pray that God will send good people around you. Pray for God to surround you with those that have the same ambition, the same goals as you. With those that will help you go forward, that will help you advance, that will help you climb up. In the name of Jesus. That we glorify your name, we magnify your name. We exalt you, King of Kings, because you alone are God. Thank you from the beginning and the end. It was you, my God. You have led. You have spoken. You have guided, O oh Jehovah. May your name and your name be glorified, Father. Help me surround. Surround me with good people, my God. Those that will help me advance, my God. Those that will help me succeed. Father, help me act upon my faith. Let me not be the one that hides their faith. Let me see over my barriers, my God. Let my faith be in action to the point where it breaks my barriers in the name of Jesus. Father, I want you to see my faith. Jesus, I want, to see, I want you to see my faith in action. I want you to see my faith at work. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Almighty Jesus, we have prayed. Hallelujah, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to him. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, beloved in the Lord, my brothers, my sisters. Thank you for lending me your ear, for being available to hear what the Lord had placed in our hearts. May God truly bless you if you could share so that more can hear what the Lord is asking. If you could share the video. I'm your humble servant, Deaconess Delhi from Kingdom of God Assembly. We gather at St. John Deaf Community Centre at Manor House, postcodes N42HE, N42HE, and it's right by Manor House Station. As soon as you get to the station, we are close to the station, not even two minutes away. We'd like to welcome you. If you have nowhere to go, come and join us. We have a man of God that is filled with the word, that is filled with fire. Come, let us be together. Let, let us be one union together. Come and join us. You are more than welcome. If you have nowhere to go, if you are looking for a place, come to the kingdom of God assembly. May God bless each and every single one of you. We'll see you on Sunday. Our service is on Sunday. We start at 1 p.m. till 4 p.m. We'll see you there. May God bless all. My mothers, I can see you there. God bless you all. My sisters, God bless you all. My fathers, God bless you all. We'll see you on Sunday. Bye for now.